Aerospace Corporation and its extensive knowledge of government space programs and the needs associated with those programs, Aerospace designed this new form factor to address those needs. You could resize your disk sat to fit the different fairing sizes of the different launch vehicles. So there's the key scalability aspect. And with that in mind, you can bring an entire constellation of disk sats with you in a single launch. For disk sat, they will get integrated with the launch vehicle at Wallops uh, Spaceflight Facility. And then they will launch on an Electron rocket, a Rocket Lab rocket. And roughly about 45 minutes after launch, they will start getting deployed and they'll come out one at a time. Uh, there's a couple minutes in between each disc is its deployment and then there'll be free flyers at that point. The primary mission is to demonstrate and to understand the performance, functionality, and maneuverability of the DISSAT buses on orbit, and particularly in low Earth orbit or LEO and very low Earth orbit or VLEO. From the very beginning of this effort, we've been really focused on not only the success of the demo mission, but also how we can work with industry and government partners and academia. I'm thrilled to see DISSAT be this close to launch. We've been working on it for over three years to develop a new mission concept, a new form factor for the small spacecraft industry. And we think this new technology will be disruptive to the small spacecraft enterprise and ecosystem. I think that the DISSAT has a, has a bright future. I think there are a lot of missions, especially communications or radar type of missions that could benefit from this format vehicle with a large surface area. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how customers will uh, make use of the platform or other industrial partners might be able to take it further. Aerospace's commitment to accelerating innovation is evidenced by its partnership with government agencies to push the technology beyond where it is today. We have, you know, the small sat community, there's so much going on, there's so many advancements, and, and to have DISSAT be a part of that community and be a part of all that's happening and enable these new science and exploration missions, you know, looking about applications maybe beyond GEO, I think having that place in, in all of that and what's going on right now and in the future, I think would be really, really exciting to see happen.